that means I'm going to be there for the biggest holidays of the year, Halloween and Christmas. POV, you're watching me walk into work. Uh, Houston, I think we have a problem. I'm moving to Florida in three and a half hours. What is life? Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Today is Friday, June 18th, and I am moving to Disney World. If you guys don't know already, I am doing the Disney College program, and I am so, so, so excited. Today is the day I am moving to Florida. Clearly, I have all my bags packed behind me, but it was a process to pack these. Starting at the beginning of this week, I started vlogging my packing process, so I'm going to have you guys follow me along, and yeah. <laughs> The way that I made my packing list is I found three different blog posts online that were all like titled DCP packing list and I went through every single one of them and kind of like compiled my own list. I will link those three blog posts that I used in the description box and maybe they will help you as well. I definitely advise you to go through them and kind of like pick and choose what you think you'll need because I didn't add every single thing on those lists to my own list. I didn't include my clothes on here because I kind of figured that I'm probably gonna end up just like shoving every single thing that I own into a suitcase when it comes to clothes. I think the trickiest thing is the fact that we're taking an airplane, like we're not driving there. So I have to stuff everything that I can into suitcases. I spy with my little eye, my dog. Can you find him? Can you find him? He's right there. I will be in Disney for the fall and the winter and that means I'm going to be there for the biggest holidays of the year, Halloween and Christmas, and that means I have to pack all of my holiday decorations. Here I have a Halloween garland and here I have a Christmas garland. I'm going to do a little update so I've been packing all of my decorations. This is my camera tripod. Here I have some decorations, Halloween decorations. This is my dear friend Arthur. He's coming with me because I'm there during Christmas time. Another shoe box filled with more Christmas stuff and a Halloween candle. Another tripod, this one's for my phone. Over here I just have like a stack of like decorations and then in this box are more decorations. I have all my ears in this Urban Outfitters bag. So these are all coming with me. Guess where we are? It's not focusing on my face. Why is it only focused when I'm this close to the camera? throwback to like my very first Disney packing vlog when we came here to get my suitcase and we're back so it's actually like a couple of hours later I'm pretty sure since the last time I vlogged but pretty much what happened is I put all of the decorations that were at the edge of my bed into that red suitcase that we got from the storage space and I've currently been laying in bed kind of just staring at my packing list for maybe an hour like that's kind of embarrassing but I've honestly just been staring at it and I haven't done anything about it so I think I'm done packing for today it is Wednesday my dudes good morning today I'm gonna pack more surprise I wanted to give you guys a little update because I'm currently on hold with a car dealership so something that I didn't tell you guys is that I also need to buy a car in Florida and I have two days to do so I'm going to literally purchase my very first car before doing the DCP so I'm on hold and the hold music is absolutely wonderful <laughs> I am currently in the car because I am running errands today. I am here to find a new backpack and also sandals because the role that I'm in actually requires specific like black sandals with a heel strap so that I can work on the pool deck. I'm back from the store and I'm gonna do a little haul aka show you the two things that I bought. Here's my puppy. He's in a cone right now. So first of all, like I said, I needed to buy work shoes and I bought these. They're not the cutest thing ever, but I like they're kind of required, so I just got them. I mean, I really don't know how I feel about them yet. Oh, they're actually kind of cute, not gonna lie. Like, I'm kind of a fan of them. And I also, this is so exciting, I bought a new backpack. I've had my old North Face backpack since my freshman year in high school. I feel so fancy. It's just weird having a new one since I've had the same one for eight years. It's like I've never bought a backpack before. First backpack purchase for Caitlyn. Why is it so high on my back? POV, you're watching me walk into work. 
So yeah, that's my little haul from my shopping spree today. Clearly I went all out and bought so many things. Now that I'm back home and I showed you guys what I bought, I have to do the boring stuff now and actually pack my clothes. The next thing that I need to work on is packing my clothes. And I just really don't want to pack my clothes because of the process. Excuse my current appearance because I'm literally wearing neon shorts and a Fallon sweatshirt. Only because I'm wearing clothes that I know for a fact I will not be packing to bring to Disney with me. So here is my beautiful closet. The process that I'm gonna use is just pulling out everything that I think I'm gonna end up wearing in Florida and then pack it. So first pull, second pack. Uh, Houston? I think we have a problem. So here are all of the clothes that I pulled out of my closet and there is absolutely no way I can bring this mountain of clothes to Florida. This is actually like a problem. Let's just have a chat with this mountain of clothes in the background. So I know that I will be spending a majority of my time in my costume for work, but I also want to look cute when I go to the parks and Otherwise, I'm gonna have to figure out how to narrow down all of these clothes and I'll get back to you <laughs> So I just spent a couple of hours trying to narrow down what you guys saw on my bed earlier Which was an absolute disaster like here. I have some like nicer tops there I have a ton of tank tops ton of t-shirts here. I have skirts here long sleeve shirts here for when it gets colder leggings and sweatpants in this pile. This pile is still a huge pile of sweatshirts and I can't choose which sweatshirts I want to bring and which I don't. Here I have jeans and shorts and then over here I have dresses and then flannel and here we have a cardigan. I think I did an okay job with narrowing it down but honestly this is kind of tough. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys a little update with my packing. So I kind of reduced the clothes that I want to bring. And I'm currently working on putting things into packing cubes. If you guys don't know, I'm kind of obsessed with packing cubes. What those are are these things. So they're like little zipper pouches that you can put your clothes in. <laughs> it's currently Thursday, so that means tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm leaving for Disney World and I think that's absolutely crazy. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update on my packing just because I know yesterday I was really stressed out about packing my clothes, but guess what? It is all better now. Right now, the only mess is down here. So down here, I just have a ton of sweatshirts that I need to find a place to go. But other than these sweatshirts and those two packing cubes, everything is packed. So I fit a majority of my clothes in this big suitcase. So this is all clothes and shoes. Not only is this week focused on packing, but I also have to say, bye to a lot of my friends from home. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna hang out with a couple of friends, say bye to them for the last time before I leave, and it'll be a little bit sad, but that's okay. It's currently the end of the day on Thursday, and this is my last night here at home, so I'm getting those like last night at home feelings, if you guys know what I mean. Like you kind of get them when you're moving to college for the first time, or when you're leaving home for like a study abroad, where it's kind of like, this is my last night at home for who knows how long. I personally might stay in Florida for longer than my program because my program goes until January, so I might be back here then or I might not be. After I hung out and said bye to all of my home friends today, I came home and I finished up packing, so I'm pretty much done doing that. All I need to do is my carry-on and my toiletries tomorrow. <music> Friday and today we are moving to Florida. How crazy is that? <gasps> like literally it's happening. So today, like I said, we're running some errands. I am in the car right now because I'm gonna go ahead to get my eyebrows done. I'm also going to find a dress that I can wear in front of the casting building. Everything for check-in and for onboarding is at Flamingo Crossings. However, I still wanna pop over to the casting building to try and get some cute pics. I also wanna look for some new jean shorts because I will be moving to Florida and I feel like jorts are going to be a staple closet item while I'm down there. I just got home from Target and I just realized how unlike me it was not to film a segment of me and Target for my packing vlog. If you guys have watched my past Disney packing vlogs, I've gone to Target every single time and I always film a little Target like snack section segment, but 
today I didn't really get anything anyways. I just went there to get some energy drinks if it wants to focus. It's not focusing, but I got some energy drinks. These are like the Alani new energy drinks and I'm like kind of obsessed with them. I just got home from the mall and I wanted to show you guys what I got. So I did mention that I was trying to look for a dress and some shorts. I couldn't find any dress that I was kind of like envisioning. I did however find a pair of shorts that were really cute so I'm gonna show you. Here they are. They're just some like mom shorts. Very cute, very fresh. It's so crazy. We are leaving my house in about three and a half hours. So I'm moving to Florida in three and a half hours. What is life? I have a mess of my toiletries right here. I'm not gonna go through everything I'm packing because that's just boring. I'm definitely not gonna bring my shampoo bottles or like my body wash just because they're like really big and I don't really have the space for that. So I'm probably gonna buy new ones when I get to Florida. I feel like toiletries are one of the most annoying things to pack because you have no choice other than to pack them last minute. Because like you always are washing your face in the morning and washing your face to get ready and like brushing your teeth and stuff. So it's not like I could just pack my toothbrush like three days in advance. Here are all of my packed toiletries. I have a lot of things in this Lululemon bag, this smaller clear bag, this bigger clear bag, and then this is my makeup bag. That's pretty much all for toiletries. I just need to put these in my suitcase. So I'm gonna give you a little rundown of all of the bags I'm bringing. Like I said, we're flying, so I needed to put everything into suitcases. But here are all my things. I have this blue smaller suitcase, a gray smaller suitcase, and then over here I have the big suitcases. So I have the red big suitcase and a gray big suitcase. And then I also have this duffel bag up here and this is my carry-on bag which I still need to pack. I feel like this seems like a lot but at the same time is it? I may have overpacked, but I mean it's better to bring more than to bring not enough. All I have left is to pack my carry-on and we're gonna be on our way to Florida. That is so crazy. Oh my gosh. I have all of my bags packed. I can't believe I finished packing, honestly. It was a lot of work and it took a couple of days. Normally I pack last minute, so starting to pack a couple days in advance was really weird for me, but we did it. I don't know when the feeling of me moving to Florida is finally gonna hit me, but currently it is not and we're about to head to the airport. So yeah. I guess I'll see you guys in Florida. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!